Asar and the Nigga Swagat to another amazing, very creative uh, Akal Cook Show with Dr. Majid Kaur going worldwide and welcoming all my viewers from USA, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Tanzania. I have found out a lot of people from Arusha watching the shows. Kenya, uh, Italy has sent me messages on WhatsApp. They are saying great shows, Spanish people and some people from India and a lot from UK. Sarya Nusat Srikal Namishkar Adab Jeshi Krishna Jambu San and Karibuni to my healthy concept of a cook show taking you to another amazing journey of mung beans still staying with mung beans but something very strange but something very exciting today stay tuned taking you to a journey of cauliflower based pizza huh but it's not white flour and it's not wheat flour i'm using organic cauliflower sorry it's not inorganic cauliflower has got 20 different chemicals and pesticides Broccoli is the most dangerous vegetable on earth. Do not use inorganic. It's seriously carcinogenic. Yet, Tartiri Upar, God has given us broccoli, which is an anti-cancer, a cancer-fighting vegetable. But what has mankind done? Done 24 sprays, the most lethal vegetable on earth. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. So was the saying going back in 60s. Jodo e sprayani pendia sigya. 64 pesticides and chemicals on an apple. Go for organic. Please give your children an apple a day. But please, I know it's two pounds for six apples. But your child's life is very precious. Let's not, uh, you know, put our children at risk. Join me in my cook show and uh, we'll take you to an amazing journey. Right in front of you, the ingredients that are going to be used are as follows. I've taken two-thirds of the cauliflower, coarsely ground it through my food blender and I've already added in hari mirch and adrak. Because I was blending it, I'm trying to save time in my cook show. Everything is washed. Please take note. Everything is uh, uh, sort of put in bowls ready for you, you to know. So cauliflower, two-thirds minced with hari mirch and ginger already because cauliflower is by cauliflower is a damp vegetable we need to add fire which is ginger either which my pari hagiya flaked uh, quinoa seeds jede mein bins kalene oat flour which i have minced and um, almond meal this is nutritional yeast. If somebody has never seen nutritional yeast, it is an amazing product that brings beautiful sweetness. So I'm using two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, which I've already put and measured in the bowl. If I'm going to put this away to create space. Um, two third cup of oat flour and two third cup of almond meal. Almond meal, matlab badam, chil to bigar, mein piece lene. Onions that will go into the cauliflower, coriander and loon mirch as usual and masala. So my tray is ready here. My oven is ready at 200 degrees where I'm going to uh, layer the cauliflower, add this mix, cook it and the topping on that which is going, you will never have tasted it, is the sprouted mung beans with the rest of the third of the cauliflower which has been boiled in um, vegetable stock with two teaspoons of soya sauce to bring the saltness taste. Soya sauce is amazing. If it's a good bread, don't go for flavors and cheap brands. They don't do the job. This is light soya sauce and it's the superior range, one of the best. So if I make room here, so this is my mix. Cauliflower grind kitti hoya, mircha paiya hoya, te edivich adrak paiya hoya. I'm just going to add more fresh adrak. This is for, uh, that was minced. I want to add something that's grated that will give us a bite because cauliflower is by it's a damp vegetable. Beg your pardon. So mix that up very quick. In this, I'm adding the nutritional flakes, yeast flakes, adding in the oat flour, which is going to act as a binder. Almond meal, matlab badam atta. If you have allergy for your child, then go for barley flakes. Uh, that's another option. Uh, that is also uh, not widely available, but I keep it in my clinic. So this is oatmeal. So there's protein in here as well. So I'm going to bind all this up together. Now, as a sticking agent, 
there goes my wonderful sprouter. If you have seen the other shows, you must have seen this sprouter still sprouting my beans. Um, and I've done the third batch now here just to show you that sprouting and the story of mung beans, it is a high protein food and it's not gluteny. It is an automizer, auto sprayer. So you never have to worry. I only put distilled water every third day to replenish and make the water fresh. So this I'm binding together. I'm going to add two teaspoons of coriander green. One of the most amazing secret recipes that I left to later is chia seeds. Chia seeds is an amazing uh, food. It's very good for cholesterol but also a very good binding agent. I have soaked the chia seeds about 20 minutes before we went on air and this is two heaped tablespoons which have become quite gluteny. I'm going to drop that in which is going to act as a binder to the cauliflower. So chia seeds is C-H-I-A. A lot of people have begun to see the shows and they know what I'm talking about. They are black seeds. In fact in 1920 the runners of India used to consume chia seeds. It's again a forgotten story until I brought this back uh, into my pinya, which we have nine formulas of pinya now in my health shows and we talk about um, all the good foods. Chia seeds is very good for cholesterol. Chia seeds is a binder as well. Uh, it helps to uh, essential fat as well, helps to keep the blood uh, consistency good. So people think that's really bad. If you can see what the chemistry of chia seeds has been, just a two tablespoons of chia seeds with four tablespoons of water. If it thickens and becomes very thick and supposing to see uh, you need to add more water. So look at what chia seeds has done. It's binded the cauliflower together. Supposing you find it still not bound, Jedi ma mix add kita, jeda ki vegetable boy uh, broth de vich and two teaspoons of soya sauce boil kita. If you think it's not binding, I will just show you. Add a teaspoon of this mix and see if that will bind together. And if you are happy, okay, this is mashing up together and the chia seeds is the chemistry in this whole concept, which is not white flour. So I'm going for gobi pizza. Everybody will cringe on their chair saying gobi pizza base. What a strange thing, but it certainly is delicious. The nutritional yeast does add a very good taste to the whole thing. So syrup man, I'm going to add very little salt. Do remember, okay, this also has the vegetable broth also has salt. So I'm just going to use garlic salt. Very little. One, two, three, four, five. Don't put too much salt that will bury the food and uh, we need a bit of garam masala. What I've done with the garam masala, I've added water to it just so that it becomes a paste as well. This is garam masala, one tablespoon. So if you look at this, the smell and it's become, it's a garam masala paste, not just powder. Now if you smell this, the aroma, I wish you were in my kitchen. The kitchen aroma is amazing. All I'm doing now is putting this on my pre-prepared tray with foil. You can use any shape. You can use round square. And I'm going to bake it for about 15 minutes. When the pizza, uh, gobi is going brown, I will take it out, add my mung beans and cauliflower and just for another 5 to 8 minutes back in the oven ready to eat. So this will go onto my base. The onions will go on the top because we need to brown them and just stab it down. So this is a standard medium size. You will see K organic gobi is never very huge. Inorganic gobi can be quite large. So this is organic gobi. I'm just going to take my back of the spoon and pat it down. So what I'm doing, I'm making a base not with flour. In my last series, I was very, uh, you know, um, troubled by the amount of uh, problems that young girls have with bones, aching joints, knee problems, such young age. And this is all coming due to the sodas and the fizzy drinks girls are drinking. 
and uh, uh, drinking up with the phosphoric acid which is seriously dangerous adding in with all the citric acid and other things that disturb your stomach lining so foil mere tin de sare bar honi chahiye ya this is now going to go into the oven bake for about 15 minutes till it's brown and crisp so this a little bit of patience in this one and the chia seeds has done the amazing story what he's done is with the flowers it's bound the gobi together it's not crumbly and it's not over all over the place i'm just going to sprinkle on the onions to brown them as they are and that's uh, that was one onion chopped finely red is nice the fragrance of a red onion is amazing so when this gets caramelized onto the gobi the flavor of the onion will soak in and give us an amazing taste at this point the oven is not hot um, uh, the, my tray is not hot so i don't need gloves but when i get to the oven later on 20 minutes later i do need to use gloves So in 20 minutes join me when we'll actually take you to the topping of the cauliflower pizza and then further 8 minutes and then into plating with an amazing exciting salad I can't go without a salad stay tuned and look out for watch this healthy gobi mung bean pizza with an amazing uh, raw food diet uh, with Dr Manjeet Kaur stay tuned <music> with cauliflower crust one medium organic cauliflower two third of this cauliflower you need to dice it and blend it in a blender but keep it coarse half a cup of almond meal without the skin half a cup of oat flour two tablespoons heaped of chia seeds to be blended in four tablespoons of water leave to set which is going to be the binder in the cauliflower two tablespoons of nutritional yeast Two tablespoons of ginger, salt, uh, chilies, garam masala to add to taste. With at least about a one heaped teaspoon of ginger. Cook this crust on a greased bake, 200 degrees high heat, which should be uh, going crispy but not burnt on the edges for about 15 minutes to. Six, eighteen minutes, depending on the gas oven or a fan-assisted oven. Meanwhile, prepare the topping, which should be one cup. of sprouted mung beans which have been cooked in a quarter cup of vegetable broth with 1 tablespoon of gravy vegetable granules 1 teaspoon uh, of coriander cumin seeds garlic powder to add to taste green chilies when the cauliflower pizza do remember sorry we need to put 1 teaspoon of uh, heaped teaspoon of uh, diced onions yeah before we put the cauliflower pizza to bake 20 between 18 to 20 minutes remove it from the oven put the topping put it back into the oven for a further 8 minutes just to give the browning to the the gobi and a uh, browning a little bit to the mung beans serve with a healthy salad ji ha yaad hai half time to pehle aap ki kya sega bana rahe hain si gobi based pizza with sprouted mung beans a little bit extra gobi on that and do we minute baad assi dekh rahe hain ki sade oven crispy ho gaya uh, gobi ke nahi which is the base so i'm just going to use gloves making sure that i'm going to be beating it on a surface which can take the heat so je to see dekho the beautiful onions are getting caramelized and the aroma is just not like desi gobi the smell of the almonds and the oats uh, mix with the nutritional yeast is just amazing pari hai main hun jehdi topping which is going to go back into the oven for a further 5 to 8 minutes not more than that ready to serve with an amazing concept of a beautiful salad spring onions with beautiful small red peppers and a wonderful sweet and sour sauce to give you this amazing crispy taste without the atta but again the story was the mung beans so i've got my base ready here what i'm going to do is give it a good mix 
just going to add in a bit of garam masala very little if I take a dry spoon a bit of salt do remember ke aapa already in vegetable broth te which boil kita hoya a bit of green chilies of your choice je bache nahi khande te na pao i'm going to add in just a level teaspoon of green chilies half a teaspoon of adrak freshly ground because it's a uh, gobi's bai and fresh coriander two handfuls straight in there mix it up put it onto your topping of the gobi just spread it out it's just another crispiness don't burn the gobi je gobi overcook kati it does taste very foul so apa inu sirf very quick browning karke kind of heat hi karni hai do you remember these are mung beans which were sprouted and boiled but leaving a little bit of a, a, a crisp in there do not never overcook your dal to the point it's dead on the plate so just one cup of boiled mung beans is enough to give you the spread look at that amazing now imagine this kinni barkat hai gi one organic full gobi a cup of mung beans one third of that uh, gobi left over is used as a topping this can be a very sufficient helping for five people in a family and it's really cost effective we are all talking about economics and we are talking about food is being very expensive the best way to cook sometimes these meals are you know at home and jeri kende na punjabi style ke barkat hai there is the best barkat is actually in the food that you cook at home this is now ready to go back into the oven no cheese topping nothing at all straight back in the oven because it's hot i will hold it back in the oven at the temperature of 200 degrees just for browning you may have a fan assisted you may have a gas oven so just keep a look out that the gobi doesn't get burnt so while this is going into the browning join me into the plating section in just 5 to 8 minutes and we'll show you how amazing this whole concept will be gathered together with an amazing very hearty healthy salad ji ha pata laga si santan to ke kareliyan da dhuma pe gaya si which was a filo pastry ke karela i think this gobi is going to go worldwide revolution gobi pizza and whoever does this it's patented by akal channel all the profits need to come back here <laughs> so i think we are going to open a franchise of gobi pizza <laughs> but organic gobi it's ready and browned i did say okay please take note that um, if the camera can look in there the gobi has browned do not burn it if you burn it it's seriously gross tasting so let's get it out a vibrant beautiful dish made here right in front of you with all the helping of the coriander the onions which were caramelized and the way they just cooked through presenting this with a wonderful salad so when as i cut this still holding on to the tray and if you see that the gobi side na to crispy ho gaya so i'm just going to do a nice cut going a bit deep it's piping hot and i'm going to dig deep through to make sure i get the gobi filling wah ji wah the crust out so what i'm going to do is serve it straight into the plate here that's the crispy end of the gobi sincere apologies because it's so delicate it's not like white pastry flour here serving the gobi with a wonderful very tropical salad entertaining your guests with wonderful raw food diet and one pepper with a few shallots of uh, spring onions santo this was an amazing concept i hope you will enjoy it i hope you will walk it i hope you will give us a feedback on this amazing concept is beautiful is nutritious and don't forget still on the story of mung beans i'll take you to another journey of mung beans with pumpkin mung beans uh, flaffles and the mung bean story will still carry on 
Just take note that moon beans sprouted are, have so much more protein and less carbohydrates, very nutritional for our blood sugar balance. Moon beans are great for detoxification of toxins out from the body on a cellular molecular level. It is like a, a vacuum cleaner into your system to suck out all the toxins. Keda better food ho sakta dunya te, but this is not moon beans made in a pressure cooker, which is seriously then very very carbohydrate ho jandi and odi lace. Jedi daal ne lace chharti hai, that's going to shoot up your blood sugars. My story here always is trying to promote good health to my youngsters and young viewers. Thank you so much for the passion. Thank you so much for all the wonderful remarks and the comments. I will carry on with my mission with Akal channel behind me. On to another cook show. Saryanu Sachikal, Namishkar, Kwaheri and Adab. Take care of yourself and each other. Goodbye till I see you for another series. Sat Sri Akal.